What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. It's good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating the drink. It's like a damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, please no. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up, what's good, people? What's up? It's me, L Teddy 27 and I am back. This is going to be week eight of our NFL fantasy football year. We are around the midpoint of the season. Next week is officially the midpoint of the season, but this is week eight. I keep harping on these are the weeks that you want to do what you got to do, because once we get past week eight, you getting around the time. The, you know, playoff spot starts to get cemented and it's going to be harder and harder to dig yourself out the hole um, with the playoffs coming up. So, anyway, we're going to help you out again this week. Um, Shouts out to those people who sent me emails um, about picks. Um, I, went, I responded to everybody um, and um, hopefully... You got some good help. Um, help help a couple of people for Thursday's game because I had to know some couple of people that were in some daily fantasy leagues for the Thursday game. So um, yeah, continue to send those emails. I will continue to respond. All right, let's get down to this week. This week, um, let's start off with our quarterback. Our quarterbacks for this week. Um, Let's start off with Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans. Um, they are going to be at Cincinnati Bengals. Y'all know Cincinnati give up a lot of point, give up, gives up a lot of points. So they give up a lot of points. So look for Ryan Tannehill to, to do well. All of the Titans receivers, um, you know, AJ Brown and, and the rest of them over there in um in Tennessee. Go ahead and start them. You should be fine. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo of the San Fran of my beloved San Francisco 49ers. They're gonna be at Seattle. Seattle gives up a ton of points. If you've noticed this year, it's always a shootout out there in Seattle. Um, the 12th man isn't the 12th man anymore. Okay. And um the Legion of Boom, as I keep telling y'all from week to week, they're going and they're not coming back. Not this year. So look for Jimmy G and the San Francisco 49ers um, to put up a lot of points. I figured them to put up at least 24 points um, out there. So I like Jimmy G this week. I feel like my camera is crooked. God, I don't know. Whatever. Um, and then our sleeper this week is going to be Nick Foles of the Chicago Bears. They're going to be at New Orleans. Now, I know you're going to tell me, really, Chicago Bears, Nick Foles, but New Orleans gives up a ton of points against a, opposing quarterbacks. Even garbage teams put up points. I'm not saying that Chicago is going to win, but if they can give you points, you go with the points. So um, in a pinch, if you're stuck, maybe you got a couple play, um The players on your roster are hurt, got COVID or whatever. You need um somebody off the waiver wire. Nick Foles might do you well this week. Um, and they're going to be at home versus Chicago. I'm sorry, that is Chicago. They're going to be at home versus New Orleans. Um, for your tight ends this week, we have Richard Rodgers of the Philadelphia Eagles. They are going to be at home versus Dallas. You, This is Dallas's defense we're talking about here. We've talked about this week after week, so you already know how this goes. Um, so I like him to do well. I also like Jimmy G., um, New Orleans is up there with Atlanta with regard to giving up points to opposing tight ends. So um, I like Jimmy Graham to um, this week. I ain't saying trust him every week, but this week he has a great matchup against um, New Orleans. So look for Jimmy Graham um, of Chicago Bears. They'll be at home versus New Orleans to give you some quality points. I also like Mike Gesicki. He's our sleeper of the week for Miami. Um, you know, Tua is out there um, as the starter for the Dolphins now. And look for look for Mike Gesicki, that um, tight end down there, to be his safety net. I, I expect Mike Gesicki to get some quality um, catches 
And so he's going to be the safety net for Tua. So look for him to give you some quality points down there. And Miami is going to be at home versus the Los Angeles Rams. For our running backs this week, we have Le'Veon Bell of the Kansas City Chiefs. He's going to be um, at home versus the New York Jets. The J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Um, I like Le'Veon Bell. You know, we don't trust too much out of the New York Jets football team. So anytime we get a smidgen of an opportunity, we, you know, try to let you know. So Le'Veon Bell should do well for you this week. I like Jonathan Taylor of the Indianapolis Colts um, versus Detroit. This is Detroit. They don't even... Um, they don't even dress a defensive squad. So um, Jonathan Taylor should get you some quality um, points. Good touches out there for him. And I like Daryl Henderson of the Los Angeles Rams. They will be at Miami. Um, so I like Daryl Henderson of the Los Angeles Rams. They'll be at Miami. Um, remember, these people, you want them to get you double digit. If they can get you 10 points, that's a good day. Um, these are not people who are, you know, the Dalvin Cooks of the world or stuff like that. Because you don't have to think about those type running backs. But these are running backs who maybe you're questioning. Maybe you're doing daily fantasy football. Um, and you're looking for a cheap bargain, you know, player. My sleeper of the week is LaMichael Perrine of the New York Jets. Now... Um, Michael Perrine, and I talked about Le'Veon Bell earlier as if he was on the New York Jets. He's on the Kansas City Chiefs, and I know you got Hilaire Edwards out there, but I think Le'Veon Bell is going to steal touches from Hilaire Edwards. I, I forgot to mention that. Um, Look for him to steal touches from Hilaire Edwards. I just feel like that this week. Um... But uh, my sleeper, like LaMichael Perrine, does play for the New York Jets, and they will be at Kansas City. Um, he is coming on into his own out there in New York in the um, for the Jets. So look for them to continue to uh, feature him. Our wide receivers of the week are going to be Brandon Ayuk of my beloved San Francisco 49ers. I told y'all the 49ers should uh, put up points versus the Seattle Seahawks. Sue... So, with that being said, uh, Brandon Ayuk has been um, really showing his ass out there and, uh, for my beloved San Francisco. He's been really doing the damn thing out there. So look for that to continue. Um, even with Debo Samuels out there and the rest of that um, receiving crew, Brandon Ayuk is still separating himself. I like Travis Fulgham of the Philadelphia Eagles, and they will be um, at home versus the Dallas Cowboys. Um, look for Carson Wentz. If you want Carson Wentz is a safe start as well this week, if you just need another quarterback, but, um, look for, um, Travis Fulgham to be, um, to continue to be the feature receiver out there. And then Marquise Brown of the Baltimore Ravens against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Now, funny thing is they're going to be at Pittsburgh as well. Funny thing is every week, it seems like Pittsburgh is giving up the big play to some wide receiver. And I believe that this week, Marquise Brown, you know, he's the um, downfield receiver for Baltimore Ravens. And I look for Marquise Brown to be the recipient of some freak, you know, uh, big play that Pittsburgh gives up because they've been giving up big plays all year. Our sleeper for the week um, for our wide receivers is going to be Rashard Higgins of the Cleveland Browns. And they're going to be um, at home versus the Las Vegas Raiders. Now, Rashard Higgins, this is a sleeper. But he is really connecting with Baker Mayfield. And I could see him being the number one receiver. You know Odell Beckham Jr. is out. He's out. Jarvis Landry, you know they're going to put their best um, um, corner on him. So I like Rashard Higgins. To get some quality catches this week. Get you some quality points. Alright, so for our favorite part of the week. It's time for El Teddy 27's Fantasies. Fantasies. Our first fantasy of this week is a... Both fantasies are running. Um, wide receivers, excuse me, this week. Our first one is going to be... 
Sterling Shepard of the New York Giants. He's a wide receiver. We got three pictures of, of everybody this week. Um, I've been watching Sterling Shepard for a while out there with the um, New York Giants. I've been watching him for a while. You should watch him too. Um, so that's our first one of the week, Sterling Shepard. Our second um, fantasy of this week, fantasies, fantasies, is none other than um, Corey Davis, wide receiver for the Tennessee Titans. Piece of dog chocolate for you there. Dark, dark chocolate for you there. Um, nice smile and everything. So, um, and he's really hitting under the radar for years now. But he ain't under the radar no more. We see you, Corey Davis. And that's Corey Davis of the Tennessee Titans. Those are our fantasies for this week. Listen, let's start to make some moves in our fantasy leagues this week. Let's um, start to establish ourselves in our dominance in our fantasy football leagues this week. Um, until next week, continue to see your questions um, and so forth. But until next week, that's all I got for y'all. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely. We out.